Today we're taking a little road trip to Horizon Aquatics, which is an aquascaping store in the UK. It's not too far from me and uh, someone's going to be coming with us. Hello. Hey, how's it going? How are you? So uh, my friend Jamie here is going to be joining me to Horizon Aquatics. Uh, I think we need to pick up some stuff for your new tank, right? Yeah, kind of okay. like hardscape, maybe some new soil, root tabs, so, plants. What kind of size tank do you have? Um, so it's kind of similar to a 45p, 45, awesome. 30, 30. So um, Jamie hasn't been to Horizon Aquatics before, um, so it's going to be quite fun and we're going to be you know, enjoying the nice aquascapes there. But of course, uh, we're going to pick up some uh, supplies for his new tank. So that's where we're going and um, let, let's go. So are you looking forward to it? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Good stuff. There's a really big selection of hardscape at this um, shop. There were so many types of rocks and uh, plenty of wood, although we weren't quite sure on what type of wood to go for or even what type of layout to go for. We were kind of stuck between an island shaped layout or a, a triangular shaped layout. In the end, we went for some triangular shaped layout after we found a piece of wood we liked and um, we used some of the um, black north rock available which uh, we thought was quite um it was quite simple and basic but i think it would really really work for this layer we wanted to achieve There was a massive selection of uh, fish that would suit an aquascape as well as nano fish and bettas and shrimp. So you know, there's always a massive selection of things like this here. The shop itself was so beautiful and uh, Jamie really, really was taken back by how amazing some of the displays were, and so was I. Every time I come to this shop, there is something new to behold. It is really, really beautiful. There was also a few little nano tanks, some immersed, and uh, some beautiful flowers on some of them as well. We did manage to get a few plants for Jamie's new tank. We got a few things like Hagrophinifida, um, Tripartita, and a few other things that we'll talk about later. So we're just coming back from Horizon Aquatics right now. Uh, I think we've got some good stuff. Uh, we've got some rocks, we've got some hardscape, uh, some wood, um, and uh, we're heading back to uh, have a look and escape this tank. Um, so we've got some plants as well. We've got a couple different plants. We've also got some plants in one of the tanks that we have at home. I've got some and uh, also Jamie's got some plants. So I think we're going to do some, a bit of trimming and uh, get some of the plants from those tanks and kind of uh, see what we've got. Um, we've got some soil, we've got some sand and all that at home. So it should be pretty easy to set up. We're looking forward to it, I think. And uh, Jamie uh, told me he had a really, really nice time at the Horizon Aquatics, right? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, it was, it was, it's a lovely shop. It really is nice. So. Um, I think he looks forward to going again in the future one day. Um, but yeah, um, so we're going to head back to the house and uh, have a look at what we've got. So it's the next day now and uh, we're just going to show you what we got. Um, we've got some plants and rocks, as I said, and some wood um, for the new tank, which is sitting right here. Um, Jamie's going to tell you what we uh, what we got yesterday. Yeah, so we picked up four Invitro pots. So we got Elocaris mini, um, just dwarf hair grass, and we're going to use that as in the front as like a kind of foreground plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And they've got some uh, ones for the uh, woods as well. Yeah, they? so we got Hygrophila penetrophita. Um, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, so we're going to use that on the wood as our epiphytic plant. Yeah. And uh, it's got quite a fast grower, so. We also got Hydrocothal. Tripartita. Tripartita. I think, um, I think we'll put that one on the wood as well. And it's a very yeah. fast grower, isn't it? So, yeah. Sort of make it like a kind of dense. Yeah, and then we just have to trim it and keep it maintained quite well because it is really fast growing. Yeah. And then we've got one more thing. It's a type of cryptocrine. Yeah, cryptocrine um, uh, undulatus red. So it's from all these are from Tropica 1 2 Grow, which are in vitro plants, uh, laboratory grown, no snails, no pest snails, no algae. And uh, yeah, so they're really, really nice. But yeah, the cryptocrine undulatus red is really, really nice plant. It's a bit different. It is a bit different. I've actually got, got it growing immersed. No, sorry, not immersed, but um, on some wood. And it's not even planted in soil in one of my tanks. So it's a, it's a cool plant. Um, but yeah, we're going to be planting it in soil in this uh, new tank here. So with the rocks we got, what do we get? We got North Face rock, um, about maybe two and a half kilograms of it. Yeah, I think about two and a half um, kilograms of it. Yeah, it was. It's quite, it's, it's quite a nice rock. It's quite dense, similar to lava rock. Um, yeah, but it's much heavier. Yeah, it's much, much heavier, much heavier. Quite different. Um, yeah, and it's, I guess it's quite a simple rock, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite, quite plain, but I think that's kind of nice in a way. Um, it's got a wee bit of character to it, but not too much. I think it makes it quite simple, especially for like a little simple scape like this. I think it'll work quite well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. We also got some wood, so what is this one? Yeah, so I think it's structure wood. Um, it's just, it's got some nice shapes. Um, sticks out in some places, nice Yeah, it's got some nice it. angles to yeah. it and uh, lots of different, you know, things coming out of it. It's got like a, different a cut base almost to yeah, it. Yeah, so it's like flat on the base there. So. Yeah, someone's like seemed to... Uh, um, Sawn it. Yeah, sorry, it's a bit wet because uh, <laughs> I, I, I've actually been uh, soaking it overnight. It didn't sink, but, but uh, hopefully it sinks pretty quickly. I think what we're going to do is maybe zip tie it, and if that doesn't work, maybe use a bit of glue to one of the rocks or something Just like this. Down. Just weigh it down, yeah. But we've got three pieces of that, um, varying in different sizes. Because um, we, when we were at Housing Aquatics, we used the dojo, and I think we put it earlier in the video. Um, Playing about with it. Yeah, we were, yeah. So I think, it, I think we got something we were kind of going to go for. Um, but we also got some more plants as well. We've got some uh, stem plants. Do you, you got a yeah, couple? Yeah, so we've got some Rotalas, um, Ludwigia Super Red. Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure some, I think we've got some other Rotalas. Yeah. We might end up using a bit of Ricardia or some other uh, epiphytic plants such as ferns. I think I got some as well. So we'll add some extra ones in there and uh, we'll put it in the video. When I say we'll put it in the video, I mean the next video. Um, we're gonna cut this one short and we are gonna uh, do a, a separate video for the build. We're gonna be uh, building the hardscape, you know, adding the soil, the hardscape, and we're gonna be planting as well. And then that is gonna be it. But Jamie's gonna take the tank back to his house and he's gonna fill it up and maintain it at his house. So if you want to check um, its uh, progress, you can uh, follow Jamie on Instagram. Um, where can they find you on Instagram? Um, so it's J Marshy. Um, well, you spell that out? Not really. <laughs> I'll put a link. I'll put a link in the description below at the top of the description. A wee bit at the top of the description, um, and you can click on the link and check his Instagram out. It's quite new to him, aquascaping, um, but hopefully he maintains this tank and it becomes. I think we have a good chance of it becoming something really nice. So um, I'll uh, post it in my stories as well on Instagram if you want to check it out. And maybe one day we'll do an update video, maybe, if I have the time. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was quite fun to go over to Horizon Aquatics. You enjoyed it yesterday, right? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah it was really cool to meet them. Yeah. See the different scapes. Really nice people in Horizon Aquatics. But yeah, so we'll, we'll cut, the short, uh, cut the video short there, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.